All right, guys, so in this video, what I'm going to do is teach you guys how to remove the weapon skin from the Paragon characters from Unreal Engine Marketplace. Ever since I made that video about the CG, a little short that I'm working on, I have been getting a lot of questions on how to get rid of the weapons because it is a pain in the butt. And I'm kind of glad because a lot of people are actually trying to do this CG movie short film inside Unreal Engine 4 because it's free. So for the six of you guys out there that messaged me on Instagram, here is how you remove the weapon out of the character from Paragon. All right, so granted, this is specifically for the characters in Paragon. So let's go ahead and see how we can get rid of that. So this is the tutorial I did prior. So it's the same world. So if you haven't seen that tutorial, go ahead and check it out first so this doesn't look weird to you. But we're just gonna go ahead and insert that character from Paragon in here and then get rid of his weapons and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now so what we're gonna do is go to our epic launcher and uh, as you all know you can get the characters from the marketplace for free and we're gonna drop in Wraith which is the one that I used from my previous video so we're gonna click add to project and then the project's name is tutorial this is the one that we were working on earlier so that's gonna bring the character Paragon Wraith right here that was actually really fast so let's go ahead and drag and drop them here and you know what's funny this is actually uh, the first question I asked and googled around when I first started this about last week how do you get rid of the weapons so let's go ahead and go to characters let's go to heroes wraith mesh and then drag drag and drop because um, I actually did not notice this until I made the movie my very first test video so you can see his gun is right there and that's because this is from a video game this character is from a video game but the the thing that's weird about the Paragon characters that video game is this gun is actually connected to the uh, mesh of the model itself, the character itself. So usually what happens is the character model and the gun, they're usually separate, but in this case for Paragon characters, they're actually one mesh, meaning this gun is actually part of the character's mesh or material. So I'm gonna show you two ways on how you can get rid of this gun. At least make it invisible so that whenever you're loading animations to Wraith, you're not going to see the weapon. Because as you can see here, we have some animations for him, but this is animations from the actual game, so they are going to work properly. But what if you have custom animations that you're trying to load in there, like a mocap capture or something that you made from scratch, it's going to look weird. So if I look here, you see, yeah, he's holding his gun just right. That looks right. But what if you have custom animations, it's just not going to work properly. And you know what? Just for the sake of it, I'll show you what I mean. So let's look at the idols and personalities I have here that I bought. I'm going to add that to the project. Actually, that's a 4.2.4, .4, so we can't use that one. Let's try and this, use this one. Tutorial, we're going to add that to the project, and that should show up here shortly. Okay, so where is it? Anim starter pack. Okay, so what we're going to do now, and this is going to make the tutorial a little bit longer, but I'm going to show this to you guys anyway. I'm going to go over this again later, so just follow along for now so I don't have to stop. But basically, we need to go to Wraith. We're going to take a look at the... So let's look at... Mm, you know, let's 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 pick this one okay so okay so just that simple animation let's look at the skeleton because what we have to do is actually retarget it we have to uh, use the same rig for this animation and Wraith for them to use the same animation if that makes any sense it should here in a second so I'm gonna view post and this is an a, an a post so basically we need to put Wraith in an a post as well to get this animation into Wraith so let's look at content and like I said, I'm going to I'm going to do another tutorial about this later on, but I just want to show you why it's important to get rid of this weapon here if you're using custom animations. So let's go to Heroes, Wraith. We're going to go to Mesh, Wraith, and then we're going to go to his skeleton top right, and we're going to look at his pose. And it looks like the same thing, but what we're going to do here is click this and switch to a humanoid, and we're going to make sure everything is filled out here. It looks like they share the same exact post, so save. So we should be able to retarget that animation to a Wraith. So go back, 
We're going to go to Anim Start Pack. And let's look at something more interesting than just that. So let's do uh, walk, le uh, walk Left Rifle Iron Sight. Right click that. Retarget Anim. Duplicate Anim Asset. And now you're going to see Wraith right here. We're going to click on him. And you're going to see that they're kind of in the same pose. This should work. And I'm just going to retarget that real quick. And what that's going to do is it's going to take that animation from that pack and apply it to Wraith. So now if we drag and drop Wraith right here, you see that problem that I was talking about. You see that? So the difference is this animation right here was meant for Wraith. Okay, so that's Epic Games applying that animation. But when you start adding animations from different sources, that's what it's going to look like. And since the skin of the weapon is the same as the mesh, you are not going to be able to just select this mesh and then move it closer to that arm. You're not going to be able to do it because it's actually built into that body. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get rid or try to go ahead and make that gun invisible. Okay, so the first method that I'm going to use is probably the one that I'm going to use from now on. So if you click on Wraith, you're going to go scroll down here in the details. But right here on the right, you're going to see all the materials that uh, Wraith is made out of. So he has a lower body, upper body, backpack, and, and the gun. You see that? So what you're going to do is double click that gun. It's going to take you to the node uh, structure, whatever. And basically all you need to do is highlight everything but the last node. And then you're just going to delete that. Okay? And zoom in. All right, and then what you're gonna do is right click and you're gonna do opacity. You're gonna go ahead and click blend override opacity. All right, you're gonna do blended material to material attributes and you're gonna open a constant, right click, constant. Go ahead and click to new opacity and you're gonna click the Wraith gun, switch it to translucent, save. Right, and it's gonna do its thing. And there you go. Now you see that that's gone. Press OK. And now the gun is still there, but it's really not there. So now when you view this animation, the gun's not there. So you can actually add a different gun there and put it in there. And obviously his hand's messed up because I don't think we retarget it right. But you kind of see the point. Now we can put a different gun that he can hold and that should fix it. You don't see the gun anymore. Even the shadows, you don't see the gun anymore. So that's the first met method. And that's probably what I'm going to use the most. But what we'll do is we'll just drag and drop. Oh, uh, let's see. I think that affected. Yeah, that affected it. So see, even Wraith right here is missing his gun already, which is kind of cool. So, so look at that. It's gone. So the next thing we're going to do is just make a material that's invisible or a has opacity that's zero. And uh, we don't need the gun right now because I can actually apply it on Wraith and you're going to see that he's going to be invisible. So let's go to the content and I'm not going to do any new folders. We're just going to do it here. Right click material. Oh, Shiza. Let's go to right click material and we're going to go invis. Now we're going to open that invisible material. We're just going to create a constant here. Right click constant click that we're gonna go to oh we're gonna change this first to translucent that's very important and then click the opacity there save it close it and now if you drag that material to the gun or wraith he is now gonna be invisible see him so same exact thing drop that material to the weapon or anything that you want invisible and it's going to be invisible all right guys sorry that took longer than expected but i just wanted to show you guys why you would want to do this when importing paragon characters like i said there's like a lot of free characters out there start making short films i'm kind of glad a lot of people are asking a lot of these questions and look at this look at this this is this is cool you can change his skin from that to Lunar Ops, which is my favorite. Look at that. That's cool. Anyways, uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and I will see you guys later.